Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are making... Sub Alfredo. Can you say it louder so they can hear you? Sub Alfredo, you see we got the cheap, we got the cheap shrimp, go to cheap way, you heard me? Great value, great value, great value. Cause y'all broke two ain't trying to impress y'all. You heard me? In the pasta noodles. Mm. First, we're gonna boil the noodles in a medium sized pot. We got two packs. It might be too much. Babe, I need you to. Oh, we boiling noodles in that pot? Mm -hmm. What one you was gonna send me? We need that pot. We need that pot. You mean, you know, I'm about to make that pot. <laughs> Y'all see the Hennessy back there? Real alcoholic flavor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's talk. Two bottles of Henny, we get it in over there. So we're gonna let the water boil before we put the noodles in the pot. I mean, I think they knew that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think they knew that. <laughs> you was aggravating. So look, this the same process. You hear me? When them bricks come in. You hear me? And when you gotta break them bricks down, you know, so you throw you know. I don't know if y'all know how to do the onions, but you gotta fill the layers off. Dude, who cooks with a watch on? Come on, man, I'm a, I'm a fly nigga. Come on, you gotta fill them off. You don't wanna put that in, you don't want this in your food. You don't want that in your food. You hear me? That shit gonna be hard. Wow, I just like that. Mm. You hear me? Cut that little part off. Just that little part right there. Cut that off. Wow. Okay. So this onions. I know y'all. This onions right here. You hear me? This garlic. A lot of y'all might not know about this, but this is fresh garlic. You hear me? So what you gonna do? You gonna buy? You gonna cut that? Oh, that bitch hard. Oh my right. So okay. See, I like to use garlic because I don't really like the, the powder no more. I used to use the powder, but I don't really, I don't really do the powder no more. You know hear I me? Mean? So when you're a chef like me, like a real, real chef, I don't want it in my face. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't, I don't, I don't look at people like that. I'm people all in my face. You know hear I me? Mean? You gotta, you really gotta make sure you really cut the garlic though. Like, look, see, you might think it's, but you still gotta peel all that off there. Look at that. You still gotta peel all that. Ooh, Lord. <coughs> that work right there. Boom, right? Boom, all right, it's ready. No, it's not. All right, look. That's how it's supposed to look before you cut it. Right, y'all see my nails? A man gotta keep his nails clean, y'all see that? Right. Come on, dude, you're supposed to be doing that. All right. All right, so you peel them. All right. Show you how y'all chop y'all eggs. That's seeds. That's garlic. That's how I know you don't do nothing. You don't. Yeah, I know. That's first. That's how I know you don't cook. First of all. That's how I know you don't cook. All right, cut my ears up like that. Real chef over here. I'm. A, I'm like a legit chef. With it. I ain't gonna cut too fast because I want y'all to see what I'm doing. You know. You know. Boom, then you do that. Then you gotta do the things that the chefs be doing when they cook, right? So they do this. They hold one in and they. I usually put them in my. Um... What you call that thing over there, B? What you call that thing? Your chopper. Your food? Food process. It's a food process. I used to put it in there, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to just cut everything up. You hear me? Still might put it in there later. But yeah, this how you this how you want your garlic to look. You chop that up. Chop that garlic up real, real fine. All it's going to do is melt. Melt like butter once you get in there. 
that pot up in there. The water is boiling. 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 And we're using the linguine noodles. And we're just gonna put it in the pot. Well, I'm just gonna put it in the pot. Cause you ain't over here. You don't know how to cook. I don't do not cook. Especially pastas. That's no, my specialty. Why he cutting me? They don't love. You wanna put a half of the other pack? Oh, that shit burning my eyes. Real. Why you ain't put it in the processor? You wanna put some of the other pack? I still gotta cut it. No. That's gonna be. Uh, you you should you didn't learn your lesson last time? Man, that's gonna be enough for right now. We're not making that much. So before I wash the shrimp, y'all, let me show y'all the the fish that Fred took out. It feel like it's already cooked. I'm hmm, boiling that one. I'm not eating this. Cause I told her. I'm not eating this. Earlier. Look how this look. It look like the fish is alive. Look how this look. That's cause I boiled it. Yeah, yeah you won't like eat that. I told you throw the fish out at three hours, literally three hours ago. But did you throw the fish out? The other fish, did you throw it out? No. Anyway, so we're gonna start by washing the shrimp, but throwing the shrimp out. You don't want to throw the shrimp. <laughs> we're gonna start by throwing the fish, I mean the shrimp out. Yeah, you do wash it. You don't know who hands been on it. Wash this. fresh shrimp, dude. You, you, are, you can, shrimp. and you don't know who hands been on it. But it's frozen, so that cold will kill all the dirty food. And you can still see the countertop in, in the background. Somebody went with the weed. But our countertop is being laminated. But you do wash shrimp. You are supposed to wash your shrimp because you don't know who put it in these bags, especially with Corona. Don't listen to Fred because you definitely should wash all type of shrimp, no matter if it's fresh or not. And y'all probably over there laughing, but y'all brew too. Y'all don't use no fresh shrimp all the time. People probably do use, my mama them use fresh shrimp. All in on the budget. What you, you cooking on the onions? That's how I know you're not a cook pasta. Who asked you that? You got a saute onion. That's what I'm talking about. That's how I know you're not a cook, man. You got to know you're not a cook. I mean, you the cook. I'm the cook. I'm the cook of pasta. I'm talking about, not nigga, everybody. I'm talking about everything else. Everybody what? Everybody make pasta. That's my cook. And even if everybody could, Everybody in me. You gotta make some fresh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna let you make some fresh. I'm gonna tell you do it. I'm on shrimp duty. Okay, so now that the shrimp is thawed out and washed, and washed like it's supposed to be, we're gonna season it. Well, I'm gonna season it. I, I have that really bad. Where are you to see? I'm going to season it with some Tony Satry. Like oh my, oh my God. gosh, I can't bleep all that out. I'm going to season it with some Tony Satry, original Creole seasoning. I don't try to some more seasoning. You need more? I'll show you by No, I just wanted to add something else to it. Garlic powder. She tried to be fancy, fancy. Oh, no, uh, onion powder. Garlic or onion. You can use both of them. But that's crazy because you don't never use it. Oh, what that is? Red pepper. Cayenne pepper. It say red pepper. Cayenne pepper. And I'm going to sprinkle a little cayenne pepper. Cause I'm a chef, and he a hater. Call me Chef B. Call him Chef Hater. Mm -hmm. 
So now that we got the shrimp season, we're going to take the camera Wait, come on, to come frame. On, yes, we it. do. I'm not even checking the spaghetti. All right, look here. I advise y'all to get y'all one of these. This is a food processor. You know? Gonna put all that, put all that um, in a food processor. It's gonna chop all your vegetables up real, real, real fine. You hear me? Real, real, real fine. I got some up there. Yep, I'm gonna take it off the counter and put it in there, cause I don't care. You hear me? Okay. Right. Oh, it's falling off that too. Damn, dude. I ain't gonna pick it up off the floor. She's gonna be mad if I do that. But when she don't, when she don't be here, I'll be doing that. If don't fall off, fall on the floor, I'll put it back in there. She ain't gonna know. Right? Put it down. I ain't put the thing back on that. Full of them pills. Look at all my boy. <laughs> Okay. Just chop it up real, real fine. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. That's what y'all want. Now, I'm pretty sure we have some extra virgin olive oil because I remember buying some. That's the best thing to use. Oh. Oh. That's not. Vegetable oil. Let me tell y'all who we is. I don't even know where to top it for this. Like, I don't even know where to top it. Like, so I don't, I ain't nothing bougie over there. You hear me? Put a little grease in a pot. Like when you be trying to, you hear me what I mean? Yeah, I can't really speak on that. I can't really speak on what I be doing outside the YouTube stuff, you hear me? How I make my living, but you know. I'm a fool over that stove, just know that. All right, all right. So I'm gonna turn my turn the stove on. No, babe. No. What? I'm supposed to put this in a pot that the yeah, what's that? That's what's we call it? I'm tripping. My mistake. My bad. All right. I guess I'm on pasta duty though. I'm about to tell you how you know if the pasta ready or not. Anyway. So this is what our shrimp is, wait, this is what my shrimp is looking like, cause I did that. We're gonna put the eye on. We're yeah, gonna this. They do got a little bit. Hmm. We're gonna use this Pam. You like that motion, huh? Do that again? Shake it up again? We're gonna use this Pam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they do got free. To spread the pot. All right, goddamn. We could put these noodles in the sink so we can use this pot to make. I don't think they're ready yet. I taste one. <laughs> Look how she doing it. That's how you do it. That's how you taste the noodle. We're gonna place the shrimp on the skillet. turning quick so now oh it's tripping you want to try one bit yeah. it's good try one they don't look good they done try one oh my god <laughs> don't worry about it you got corona oh dude they weren't even on the whole time oh. you can just put on that eye that's crazy joy saves the day Let my grease come to a, a small boil. Then I'm gonna add my seasoning, my onions, and my garlic. Okay. Let me just check the temperature real quick. Oh, you hear that? Can you got the one on 30 here? My bad. Watch. That's what you want here, right? 
Put it up all in there. Put it up all that on in there. You know that. Oh shit. You gonna have my stuff getting burnt because you got this shit too high, bro. You a you, you cook? You a chef? You did that shit on purpose. You a chef? You supposed to know how to check your stuff before you put it on there. That's why I know chef. But you know, see me, I'm Chef Joy R.D. <laughs> uh, I like that. That was a good one. I ain't gonna lie. You finally made me laugh. You want a whisk? It looks professional. So that they come to the boil. Let the onions, let the onions saute. Oh. You guys, the stove look a mess. Because I cook all the time. That's a lie. It's like the most perfect salty onions I've ever seen. Nice and soft. Now let's get down to the cooking. Because she don't know how to do this, but I'm going to show y'all. Why you put the whipping cream up? I didn't. It's right here. Now I apologize. What's apologize. Up? Give me this stuff. Ooh. Applying the whipping cream. Every whipping cream. This is how you make pasta from scratch. This ain't no Alfredo sauce. This is Fredo. <laughs> you get it? My name is Fredo. You <laughs> This is that Fredo sauce. We're tired. So I'ma just, I'm just go. I'ma just go with it. You see how thick it is? That's what you want. You wanna pour a little bit? Then I'm right. I'ma mix it up. Mix it up. You really want to go about, about two or three cups. That's probably about almost this whole thing. Right? We got measuring cup, dude. How many measuring cup? Right? So what we're going to do, we're going to let this come to a boil. We're not making that much pasta. We're just doing that for y'all, you know? Because I know I know y'all don't know how to cook pasta, and I'm a... You know, I'm a good, I'm a cook. You know what I'm saying? I'm a chef. So I'm just showing y'all. We're gonna just come to a boil. We're gonna check back with y'all in there. So we operate with clean kitchens. As you cook, you clean. So after you cook, you can go sit down and enjoy your food and don't have to worry about washing the dishes. You just put the food up. And yay. I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. Cause I don't. As y'all can see, you gotta get the but you gotta get the pot. You keep putting me in the camera. I thought you wanted to talk. I do want to talk. They ain't gotta see me. As y'all can see, the whipping cream is starting to boil, which in turn is gonna make it start to get real thick. That's what you want. So once it starts boiling, you know, you can add your little, little parmesan, you hear me? You did. I'm starving. She's always hungry. All right, so you're gonna take one quarter, you know, I got a little measuring cup. All right, you're gonna add one quarter.
pull it in there. All right? Pull that in there. And make it more thick. And if you want, if you do, I'm just using the quarter cup because I'm not using a lot of a lot of whipped cream to make my, my sauce. But if you want to make more sauce, just add more whipping cream, add a little more Frito sauce. This is really going to make it thick. The Parmesan cheese is going to make it real thick. Mm -mm -mm. Smells great. I like the season as I go because I'm a seasoning king. You want to keep stirring because you don't want it to start sticking to your pot. That's why I'm using the whisk. You know? And if it do happen to get too thick, if you feel like you put too much Parmesan, you add a little more whipping cream to kind of lighten it up, you know? That's all. No need to, no need to be scared. We good, we good. You did? Add a little cayenne pepper. You know, I like that spice. I'm telling y'all, when I tell you this stuff, boy. Ask her, around the first time we met, I made us some pasta. Ask her how it tastes. You didn't make it from scratch, so I don't know. I did make that from scratch. No, you did not. I went to the store with you to, and we picked up cans of Alfredo sauce. <laughs> oh, my bad. Well, still, I know how to make this. I thought I had made it from scratch that time. It's starting to thicken up. Y'all see that? Yeah, y'all didn't think that was gonna happen. She was praying and she was like, it's not getting thick yet. No, because you gotta boil it and I gotta add the cheese. The cheese would make it thick. See? Look good, smell it. Smell it. Oh, it do smell good. I know. It's the cheese that make it smell good. Stop though. playing. Put some respect on It's me that's making it smell good. Talking about the cheese. Put some respect on my name. Keep it like that. It's the cheese that's making it smell like Alfredo sauce. Mix Nothing that up else. For me. Mix that up. You smell it? Come here. Man, what that smell is? You was aggravating. They can't smell you through the camera. <laughs> what that is? That smell like that. Mm. That's, that's that splash. You just want to feel like you're doing yeah. something. Bloop. Okay. You gonna put the... Never mind, I'm about to. Guess I can't use the whisk no more. Yeah, what you want? Look at it. It's real thick, watch. It's not real thick, but it's not too loose. Let's see how it tastes. Mm mm mm. Tastes like heaven. It's real spicy, too. Real, real spicy. And you could taste the garlic from the minced garlic I cut up. Well, not the minced garlic, the fresh garlic, and also the onions that I cut up. Add real nice flavor to your dish. So I would suggest using fresh onions and fresh garlic. Not gonna add, we're not gonna add too much. Mm hmm. Hold up, hold up. All right, have some more. See, y'all gotta train her. Stop playing with me. Hold up, wait. Cause the thing is, you don't wanna add too much spaghetti and have too little sauce, you know? Go ahead, add some more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, I ain't tell you add no more. I ain't about to add no more. I'm picking it up. So when you I ain't tell you do that. Stop playing with me on these people YouTube before I slap you. Add some more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. 
Now we probably gonna do one more, one more medium size um handful, and we should be done after that. What's a medium size handful? Probably that what you got right there. You wash your hands? Yes, okay. I just finished washing dishes. Something you don't know about. People think just because they add a little parsley to their food that that's gonna make it taste better. Oh, it's for me? Don't lie to the people neither. Okay. So <laughs> so I'ma give the parsley the look of it a 10 out of 10 just because he put a little grass on top. It's, it's giving me Olive Garden. Olive Garden good? Mm-hmm. The shrimp are extra good because of me. Because I seasoned them and washed them. When somebody said that you shouldn't wash, I washed them. So this is the finished product. It's sliding off the plate. This is the finished product. Y'all see that parsley? So thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to give this the video a thumbs up, thumb it, thumb it up. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. We are gonna catch y'all in the next video.